And I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome Tom Crowther to the stage to also reflect back on some of the innovations that he has uh, been seeing. Tom of Seed, an initiative of the Crowther Lab, his own lab. Awesome. Thanks so much. Is this working? Yeah, here we go. Honestly, as an environmentalist, I could not be more enthusiastic and excited to see all the developments happening here. Getting the power of financial markets to work in favor of nature is obviously the holy grail. But as a scientist, I hope that we learn from our failures of the past. Obviously, the entire economy is built on nature, but we have inherently valued certain aspects of nature much more highly than everything else. These tend to be the parts that we can eat, that we can generate, get medicines from, or timber, or textiles, or carbon. And when these things become more valuable than everything else, we propagate them at massive scales, at the expense of the countless other species that would naturally survive in those ecosystems. Obviously, when we do lap that, we lose the resilience and stability of those systems. It is ultimately the biocomplexity across genetic species and ecosystem levels that maintains the resilience of ecosystems at a landscape scale and at a planetary scale in order to su sustain life on this planet. That's why I'm incredibly excited to see that Nature Finance is building their framework around the concept and the measurement of biocomplexity so that we can really help markets move in the direction of empowering and uh, enabling the increase of biocomplexity across our planet. Because for the last few hundred years, we have obviously oversimplified the nature on our planet. And it is critical that we reverse this trend to bring back the complexity of nature. Thanks very much. Tom, thank you.